to start off with, uh, we have a, a question we received via text. It says, does Satan have power mm. to kill anyone without God's approval? So, Dr. Hazel, I'm wondering if you could start off with that one right there from the Word of God here today. That's a, that's a good question. And actually, the Bible doesn't give many Bible passages that address specifically that particular question. Mm. But uh, what we can say from Scripture is that uh, the devil certainly is powerful to kill. In, uh, in the book of, in the New Testament, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse mm -hmm. 8, we are told that the devil is going around like a roaring lion, trying to devour who, whoever he can find. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that uh, he does that. But um, <clears throat> we have to keep in mind that um, when sin entered into this world, when Satan became the prince of this world, the ruler of this world, and with that, there were certain rules of engagement, if you can call it that way, where God allowed Satan to show to the whole universe and to the people here on this earth where his leadership would, would lead and what that would involve. And that certainly brought evil and sin and even death with it. And so Satan is responsible for that. So Satan, I don't think, has to ask for permission uh, every single time. But his ability to kill is not limitless. Uh, we know from the Old Testament book of Job, for instance, where Job, who was a pious and, and God-fearing man, uh, he was uh, attacked by Satan, and Satan had to get permission to really take his life. And God said, well, you can touch you can touch, uh, this is in Job chapter 1, verse uh, 12, uh, where he says, yeah. you can touch everything but not his life. Yeah. So his ability to kill is not limitless. And especially when it comes to God's children, I think uh, God has a special uh, care for his children and uh, is, uh, is not allowing Satan to do just anything he pleases. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, so from hearing you correctly, uh, Satan does have um, the power to influence killing, but at the same time, God is still uh, in control in the yes. bigger picture. Okay. Yeah. 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 Appreciate that. Dr. Shelley, I don't know if you have anything to add as well. Okay. So we know from Revelation 12, 12, is that the devil has come down to you having great wrath because he knows that he has a short time. So it's no surprise that he's trying to kill as many people as possible. Mm. But I think we also need to focus on the wonderful promise that nobody can separate us from the love of God. Yeah. And <clears throat> this means that whatever happens to us, <clears throat> we need to have this faith. Um, <clears throat> we know that in Romans chapter 8, for example, <clears throat> verses 38 uh, and 39, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is Christ Jesus, our Lord. So I think this can be an encouragement for all of us that whatever happens, we need to be sure that nothing can separate us from the love and the Lord Jesus Christ. 